What's up YouTube? This is Garrett from Garrett's Tech Lab back with another video. Today we're here to talk about adding an SSD to your Alienware M15 R4 laptop. Cue the intro. Alright, we're back. And today what I want to do, I've got a Sarah Brent 2 terabyte SSD that I want to add to this and I want to add it like soon because I've been loading games and all that stuff and uh, I only bought this with a 1 terabyte SSD and I think I've only got about 300 gig left. So I want to uninstall all those games, reinstall them on this 2 terabyte drive. We're going to do that now. So because this is brand new for me, um, I've got this towel that I want to put out and put on this laptop. All right, we've got two, four, eight total screws. Here's my rusty, trusty screwdriver. Let's start removing them. And once again, they only shipped one heat shield. I don't know why they just won't give us two. But what that means is, hold one second. I am going to take this heat shield from my other laptop. And we'll see if it fits. It's a little different setup. All right, and all right, so there's that's all there is to it. Snap it in, kind of goes in at an angle. Now I just want to see. If this guy will fit. Yeah, and it does. All right. So we're going to leave that in. Again, that's the heat shield from our R2. We're going to tighten this screw back down. Uh, don't over tighten it just just snug. It's all you need um, Also, I do want to point out this layout is a little bit different than the uh, than than the previous layout now, uh, what I wanted to oh, Light just went off what I wanted to point out is there's a third half height SSD that you can add here and these typically run about 512 megabytes and they're fairly reasonable what I looked online they ran a brown um, 80 bucks so uh, anywhere from 70 to 80 bucks so I will probably add that as well that'll give me three and a half terabytes that should be that should be more than enough uh, storage all right so we are ready to put this back on so to put this back on you're going to want to start with the tabs insert the tabs and press forward
and this is the last one here. All right. All right so now what I want to do is kind of go through this uh, boot up with you. Let's go ahead and click start. What I want to do now is boot this up so that you guys can um, see the new drive installed. Now again, this is an existing drive, so it's already formatted and ready to go. We're going to skip this check because I'm just too uh, impatient. Uh, it's already recognized me and we're logging in. All right. I wish uh, that this would actually show you just how beautiful uh, this screen looks. Uh, if you haven't seen this 4K screen, it is just absolutely stunning. And we're gonna go to uh, this PC. And I had a, uh, I had a drive in here. So my new drive came up as a drive E. So that's a good time to go here to disk, create format, partition disks. And what we want to do is, um, I'm just going to go ahead and reformat the whole drive. We can click here, file, action, hold on. All right, let's click here. Format, we're gonna format the drive. And, and I'm gonna call this data. A bunch of mail coming in. And we're gonna click OK. Formatting will, formatting E, let me make sure I'm formatting the right one. All right, it's formatted. Now, the next thing I wanna do is double click and I wanna change the drive letter because I want this to be the D drive. So we are going to assign that drive uh, a D drive. All right, that's it. So we have, what have we done here? We have shut down the machine, took the back off, installed a new drive, installed a heat sink, heat shield from the R2 laptop on that drive. And then we put the back back on, rebooted the machine, formatted the drive, and changed the drive letter from E to D because I had a uh, SD card in there in the uh, micro SD slot and we also renamed the drive. So this concludes this quick tutorial on how to add a drive to your Alienware R4 laptop. Make sure that you like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when I create more content on this particular laptop and some of the other technology I have. Again, this is Garrett from Garrett's Tech Lab. Peace.